unholstering the black handheld radio he had been issued with from his side, he began requesting for Jones and the others to meet him at the corner of the tunnel. No one responded, and nothing but a quiet buzz could be heard from the radio speaker. Of course, Hank now remembered that he had been warned about how unreliable the radios were, but just as he was about to turn and shout back toward the opening, something caught his eye. Surely not. There should have been nothing in that disgusting place but stagnant water and himself, yet pulling and pushing relentlessly against his bravado and self-assured disposition was the creeping realization that something was standing at the end of the tunnel. 